After quitting a senior royals and moving to California two years ago, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle welcomed their second child Lilibet to the world. Lilibet Lily Diana was born on June 4, 2021, at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital. Her name pays homage to her great-grandmother the Queen and makes reference to the nickname given to the monarch during her childhood. Royal watchers have speculated in recent months about whether the royal family is kept up to date with milestones in the children's lives after Meghan revealed during her appearance on The Ellen Show that young Lily had begun to teeth. There has also been heavy speculation as to when members of the royal family will meet the child, who celebrates her first birthday in June in person as since moving across the pond. Harry has only returned to the UK twice and never with his family in tow. However, Prince Charles and Camilla may get the opportunity to meet with the Sussexes next month. On Monday it was announced that the Prince of Wales and his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall will be embarking on a royal tour of Canada to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The couple will carry out the tour in May. Charles and Camilla will meet communities throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. Canada's capital region, and the Northwest Territories. Further details about the royal couple's itinerary will be released in due course. Clarence House has yet to comment on whether Charles will visit Harry and Meghan during his trip across the Atlantic. But the overseas trip could give the heir to the throne the perfect opportunity to meet his youngest grandchild, 10 month old Lily, in person. Meghan and Prince Harry initially stayed in Canada after announcing they were quitting as working royals. The trip would also give Charles and Camilla a chance to reunite with Lily's brother Archie, as it is unlikely that the three of them have seen each other much since Meghan and Harry travelled overseas. The Prince of Wales was among members of the royal family who wished the toddler a happy birthday last May. Last year, the Clarence House account shared a snap from Archie's christening in 2019 where he is cradled by Prince Harry, who joined Charles to gaze fondly at the youngster. His and Camilla's royal trip could coincide with Archie's third birthday which falls on May 6, meaning they could give the child a birthday present in person. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not brought Archie and Lilibet to visit from the US since they left two years ago. A legal representative for the Duke previous said his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous. This led to Harry pursuing a legal challenge against the Home Office after being told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting from the U.S., despite offering to pay for it himself. The legal rep added that Harry and Meghan pay for their own security in the U.S. This privately funded security team could accompany the Sussexes if they were to meet with Charles on Canadian soil or if he and Camilla make the journey to California to visit them. Back in February, Harry's cousin Eugenie was pictured visiting her cousin, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan. Princess Eugenie joined Harry in the crowd at the Super Bowl on 13 February, and she and husband, Jack Brooks Bank, were spotted enjoying a dinner with the Sussexes in Santa Barbara. Eugenie is thought to have been the couple's first visitor from TH.